Hello everyone, my name is Jane O'Hanlon and on behalf of Poetry Ireland and Trokra, you're very welcome to this year's Poetry Ireland Trokra Poetry Competition Award Ceremony. The ceremony is presented online again this year due to COVID-19 and as part of Culture Night, as is our custom. We're really sorry we can't be with you and have you with us here in person to celebrate. And we do hope that next year we will be able to be with everybody in the same space and have our award ceremony. As always, it's a pleasure to bring you these poems. And this year there are 15 winners and runners up in total on the theme Pathways to Peace, a theme which all of the people writing in took very seriously. Although the number of entries this year was somewhat smaller than other years, particularly as schools were closed for the majority of the time during which the competition was run, the quality of the entries was, as always, very, very high. And as you will see and hear as you listen to the poems, how people took the theme to heart and really have written pieces that are quite outstanding. It will be my pleasure to introduce these pieces to you over the course of the next 45 minutes or so. But before I do that, I would like to now call on Quiva de Barra, CEO of Trocra, to open our evening. Hello, this is Quiva de Barra, CEO of Trocra. I am delighted that Trocra yet again has been able to partner with Poetry Ireland in our annual competition, which uses the arts to bring issues of global justice to light and to enable people to express themselves about topics of deep importance in terms of global justice, but also to express themselves in a way which is very human and very moving. The topic this year was Pathways to Peace and the quality and the depth of the poetry that has come through from primary students, post-primary students and adults yet again has been extraordinary. It's really wonderful to see this creativity flourish and to see how people have taken the difficult topic of conflict on board and expressed themselves through it. We are really grateful to be able to work with Poetry Ireland on this annual competition now in its ninth year, and I very much look forward to the publication of the booklet shortly. I encourage everyone to keep an eye on our social media websites and to see what we're going to do next in terms of the competition next year. But this year, I was really struck by a few of the poems. I know every poem itself is of huge value and huge importance, but there were a couple that really spoke to me because of our work and because they just reflect very well the deep human impact of conflict. So one of the poems was from um, a post-primary student, Cara Maguire, and she titled it Running. And it's very evocative, very striking and very stark, but it's also hopeful. A few of the lines are, and this is about a family that is escaping conflict, running and walking and crawling for hours, slowly, slowly fades the deep pain. We are given a chance to start again. Wonderful sentiments in that poem. Thank you, Cara. And also a poem by Mary Turley McGrath really struck me. It's called Omar's Song and it's about a Syrian refugee in Ireland. It's incredibly moving. One of the the stanzas is as follows. My new country has no Arabic. My mama says we use both languages. One day to return to Latakia when the war is over, when lights shine from our old home near the port and rubble is gone from the streets. That will be a long time. It's very poignant, but it's very real. And I think that is what is important about poetry is it makes us really feel the reality that people are going through in a very human and empathetic way. I encourage everyone who's watching this to continue writing. I thank all the teachers who've supported their students, all the parents who supported their children and everyone who has sat down and thought deeply about the topics that we propose and written poetry around them. Thank you very much. And again, thanks to Poetry Ireland. Thank you very much to Catherine Anne Cullen, who is the poet in residence in, po- in Poetry Ireland. Thank you to Aidan Clifford, who is the retired former director of Curriculum Development Unit. And thank you to Joanne McGarry of Throkra. And these three people formed the judging panel this year. A warm thanks to you and to everyone involved. Thank you, Quiva. It's now my pleasure to introduce you to the winner of the primary junior category of this year's competition. So please sit back and listen to Prechka Utkar with her poem, Every Little Helps, from the Presentation Junior School in Mullingar. Every little helps. I have many toys and many clothes, and I see some kids with none of those. They had to run from their homes because of war. I hope they can't help after coming this far. 
by taking care of them and I want them to be smart and helpful. So next time they'll help another person who is in trouble. I know there is much work to do, but at the end of the day, every little helps. The runner-up in the primary senior category is Hannah Murphy with her poem, Peace on the Horizon. And Hannah is from Middleton Educate Together National School. Hannah. Peace on the Horizon. I think of those I've left behind, those that I dearly miss. And what was it all for? Well, I suppose it was for this. This being the heartbreak, the exhaustion and the despair. This being the sorrow for those about which I care. This being the fear, the helplessness and the shame. The feeling of never ending and of that sickening political game. We have been running for days, fleeing the dreadful war. But as I see a village on the horizon, I think this is what it's all for. The winner in the primary senior category for 2021 is Liam York with his poem, Journey to Peace. Liam is from Tullamore Educate Together National School and Liam was actually a runner-up in last year's competition. Journey to Peace. As she walks down the war-stricken road, gazing around at the ruined homes, Imagining all of the life that once inhabited these old ruins, she knows she must walk on. She keeps on walking, comes to a meadow, no more scattered debris, no more distressing scenes, just vast open green. She walks and walks, arriving in a distant town without broken buildings, without bombs. Will she find safety here? Will she find peace? No one should be forced to flee their homes, to be forced to search for safety, but still they are. Can we now imagine a world of peace? Can we take this journey together? The competition has three sets of categories, two at primary level, two at post-primary level, and two adult categories. And this year, the runner-up in our post-primary junior category is Cara Maguire with her poem, Running, from St. Mary's Grammar, Maharafelt. Homeless, without a home, terror surrounding, curving blind in a dome. Everyone screaming, screaming, flee. Doing just that, my family and me. Running, running away from the war. Dreaming, dreaming, we had to worry no more. Clutching the little, the little that's ours. Running and walking and crawling for ours. Slowly, slowly, Fades the deep pain. We are given a chance, a chance to start again. Yes, there are times when we wonder if we even could. But slowly, but surely, we start bringing in more food. All of us feel as if we could soar. We had escaped, escaped the cruel war. And the winner for the post-primary junior category for 2021 is Naomi Wall with her poem, Forgiving the Past. And Naomi is from Greystones Community College. Forgiving the Past by Naomi Wall. No food, no water, only each other. Distant lives you'd rather. A future in sight, possibly brighter. Your old home is long gone and far, Here you come, here you are. Memories of distant cries and fears persisting with the years. Your destination is reached, the struggles continue, decreasing faith rises within you. You have a vision, peace, love, kindness that envelops you, diminishing the wildness. You were divided, invisible and unseen. Here together, history is where you've been. It now gives me great pleasure to introduce Catherine Ann Cullen, the poet in residence with Poetry Ireland. Catherine Ann has been our poet in residence since September 2019. And she is also one of our adjudicators 
in 2021. Catherine Ann. Hello. As poet in residence at Poetry Ireland, one of my roles is to encourage people of all ages to write poetry. And that part of my job felt very easy when I saw all the poems pouring in for the Trocora Poetry Ireland Poetry Competition this year. It's a great spread of entries from around the country, uh, from young school children uh, to young adults in secondary school to adults who are finding their feet in poetry and established names as well. This was my second year on the judging panel, but that part of the job didn't get any easier this year. I want to say we were especially touched by your entries this year when all of your lives were disrupted by the pandemic. You took time to think about how other lives were affected by conflict and by war and to reflect this themes, this year's theme of Pathways to Peace. I'd like to thank my fellow judges, Aidan Clifford, who's retired former director of the Curriculum Development Unit, and Joanne McGarry, who's Trocora's campaigns and volunteer manager, who gave so much time and dedication to reading and considering all the poems with care. It took us hours of deliberation. Congratulations to all the winners. I hope you enjoy your celebration and enjoy your prizes. And to all the people who entered, Thank you. Some of you were very close to winning as well. I hope you'll continue to support Troker's important work, to enter the competition and, of course, to enjoy poetry. I'm delighted to say that our primary senior category was very strong in 2021. So we have three runners up and a winner in this category this year. Our first runner up is Varshika Mercheri with her poem Living for Light. And Varshika is from St. Andrew's College. Living for light. I live for light in the sky and daylight in my eyes. From glorious bursts to fading orbs of gold, I live for braving the pain. Sitting on the sandstone veranda, soaking up my surroundings, from the click-clack of the snow finch treading on pools of grey muck, to the groveling shouts of my mother telling me to come inside. I live for sand in my toes and splinters in my souls, the whispers of the cockatoos. Listening for the warning signs, the sounding sirens and the rushing wind tensing my every move. Closing my eyes, I pray and tell myself, I live for light in the sky and daylight in my eyes. From glorious bursts to fading orbs of gold, I live for braving the pain. Our second runner-up, is Sarah Fitzgerald with her poem Under Construction and Sarah is from Kinsale Community School. Under Construction. Palaces built on kindness. Towers constructed from love. We pick up the pieces that once were our lives and we stick them back together. We use the glue of human compassion, the tape of a fantastic friend, we mend and we mend and we heal, never fully, but enough to survive, if not thrive. The stars that once guided us here seem to twinkle and smile and wink and shine. Our whole lives are under construction and the builders are family and friends. And now and then a stranger will walk past and lend a hand, tearing down reams of barbed wire, stacking up soft coloured bricks, Stability, foundations and small decorations with all that we've lost and we've gained. An ke don ele na imroga na mukta la Edemar O'Callaghan agus isa St. Louis Secondary School Monaghan atá Edemar. Imroga na mukta. Toim ar cos an asia cána. Toim ag fógam a cuid fóringa maia. Tor kún of dum. Tor trucker a dum, it's me a gear ail on for egan. Tom a darny titch a massa kela, to cuss on a shea cona, peen for his fada. Quinny grog is dokus biome, Quinny car just looks my high luck biome, it's me a gear on for egan. Ni higla few on doula, solace a horch dum, Mart her ear verti darganiva hat chink lurum. Tomage a gertu on doula, Tomage a gmaru a gala. Is Andun Gros Scapa and Nunad for Egan. Nor Hani and Tu on Sail and Rogan the Mokta, and Shin, Shasik Tu Lo, Nor Kus on a Shikana. 
Essie Toyawuda is an 18-year-old writer. She prefers to be called an expressionist, and this seems very apt, given that her very powerful spoken word piece, Hold Me, My Friend, is the winning poem in this year's secondary schools category. She's a past student of Presentation Secondary School, Warren Mount, and it was her teacher who told her about the poetry competition when she heard her read a poem at her graduation. As Essie tells us herself, she found out about the competition very late, so her poem was entered on the very last day. And she was delighted to get the email to say that she'd won this category. And more than that, and we're delighted to be able to say that winning this has actually boosted her own confidence in her writing. So please keep writing, Essie. So Essie, toy Wooda with Hold Me, My Friend. Hold me, my friend. This hope I hold, I take it with me no matter where I go. This pain, it shapes me. It reminds me of who I am, where I've been, what I'm capable of, the scars within. But from here on out, I step into the unknown, with this hope I hold holding me close. This path of clay my hands will mold. I trip, I cry, I stumble, I do it all. But one thing I'll never do is let this hope fall. Anish, ish to me, le gormla, ni hiakan ni violan, as armai kundakaki, lenadon, phylakon. Is villa, scrivenor, kyotor, agas auranir and shannos e gormla. Kumen she danta, garskail to agas drami. Toshek dolish jakim lean the kema, igalosh in the husk of a kurki, agas kyol, agas guelen, face tadder eki. Rug she lay, crave na hair and sanour and yepter and shan nos, mana, either kuig diog, agus up diog, eg flakiol na hair and gavilas and ediog, agus winshi on three o height, eran thadog, and lean hanna. Come she on dawn, file a con. File is fe bru a dinter diamanti, is to see chruatan a idian and false. Mura marian she tu, ido is nis loitre. Fals kele sha in shimi doin hain, go vil nis fior a non doin. Bideag, bideag on de er a humporth. Ach, bideag a ta fear in the he hain, mas fear doin a ni in the gredemid. Cred sa chle chlo falsa, nach falsa, its umpoig and chruv in a failacon. Quiz the vanin in te. Agus tukig uis na feile, rain him an ska ere chile, ar na ram le huil le lachta chreis, rain him an labeig losan ta trechta, ar na ra losan ta treke, an dinet ar a san ta ieka, a fuid an cleach loela ro lua. Shalin a vachar chile, kred e gruv vog akra chreina, ma kred mit na inte. Mas ed a son a vimid, kaus duin na beshi in a feirakon gan vil. Our second runner-up in the adult unpublished category is Caroline Bracken from Dun Leary with her poem, The Winding Path. Caroline's poems have been widely published in, amongst others, Abridged, Gutter, Bangor Literary Journal, Sentinel Quarterly Review, The Irish Times, The Fish Anthology, Best New British and Irish Poets of 2019 to 2021 and elsewhere. And she was selected for the Poetry Ireland Introduction Series in 2018. The Winding Path. The first step on the path is the easiest. You carry a can of water, a parcel of bread. You wave goodbye to Grandma, whose hands look like fists whose legs don't work, whose hopes are fierce. After a day, your feet bleed, the food is eaten. The path winds like a snake, your mother's words dry up. After a week, you pray for rain, but the sky stays blue. Then 
up ahead, a river, a boatman. He lifts you as if you are his own child. He rows and rows until you reach a village where the welcome mat is a layer of palm fronds. Your bed is homespun cloth laid on the earth. The faces are songs, the voices soft-spoken goat's milk, the hands goose feather pillows outstretched in peace, a place for you to land. Winner of the adult unpublished category of the Trocra Poetry Competition 2021 is Sinead Griffin from Terranur in Dublin with her poem, The Table. Sinead's poetry has been published in The Honest Ulsterman, Skylight 47, Channel Literary Magazine, The Irish Times Hennessy New Writing, The Wax Lemon, and poems from the Heron Clan 8 anthology. Following a career in the Irish biotechnology sector, she lived with her family in both Paris and Edinburgh. She now lives in Dublin with her husband and three adult daughters. The table. Rockets crumble tower blocks. You watch white bandages flood red, burials of rubble. Seventeen, daughter, you ask me what I know. I know war is intimate to its people. I know the fire of burnt tongues. I know the language of the dispossessed, digested at the gathered meals of childhood, rhetoric before fact. I've heard the weir of patriots spinning in their graves, family places, the sack of Balbriggan, Wicklow notice to quit, tribal songs. Though I was small, I had all the words. I think of your Montessori, a respect for self, others, place, a table, two chairs, one polished river stone, who holds the stone can speak their feelings, who doesn't, listens, waits their turn. I know it matters what we teach our children. A river pebble made smooth by abrasion flows back and forth, person to person, eye to eye, over the sole of a tree. A crossroads for all tongues, the table, made sacred by people. Those seated around, not under it, cowering for cover. The adult published category of the Poetry Ireland Trocora Poetry Competition for 2021 features two runners-up and a winner. Mary Turley McGrath from Letterkenny in County Donegal was a previous winner of the competition in 2014. And this year, she's a runner-up with her poem, Omar's Song. Mary has published four collections of poetry, the most recent of which is After Image, published by Ireland House in 2020. Her poems have appeared in many anthologies, including the Strokestown Anthology, Reading the Future, Future Perfect, and the Shop Anthology. And her work has also been published in Poetry Ireland Review, The Irish Times, Ciphers, and Cronog. She also won the inaugural Francis Ledwidge Poetry Award, and she holds an MPhil in Creative Writing from Trinity College. She's a member of the Poetry Ireland Writers and School Scheme, and she's currently working on a new collection and a biography. Mary. Omar's Song. I learned to love my new home. Early bird song of robin and thrush. Sense of flowers, bluebells and gorse. Touch of leaves, soft lime or smooth laurel. Shapes of food, a loaf of bread, a chocolate bar. My new country has no Arabic, and Mama says we use both languages. One day to return to Latakia when war is over. When lights shine from our old home near the port, and rubble is gone from streets. That will be a long time. 
I daydream of my old city On rainy mornings as I listen in school I tell my teacher about the souks Patterned silks, cool silver Dates, figs and plums and the wide orchard gardens of the mosque by the sea. I must wait for eyesight to heal. Since the night of flames, my eyes are dark. Sometimes doctors put bandages on, sometimes take them off again. Last week, I saw a chink of light. It was good. I was happy. But if I dream, I see flames again. Like when warplanes came. Oil tanks exploded, splintering everything. My father lifted me off the floor. My brother, Tariq, screamed and screamed. Now... He makes no words at all. I tell him jokes, touch his face, feel his lips move to make a smile. Our second runner-up in the adult published category is Jean O'Brien from Kilmainham in Dublin 8 with her poem Toll Road. Jean's new collection called Stars Burn Regardless is due out from Salmon Publishing this autumn. And her last collection was her new and selected Fish on a Bicycle, also published by Salmon. She was writer in residence for County Leash and has had a poem included as part of the Poets on the Dart. She's an award-winning poet and was awarded a Patrick Cavanagh Fellowship for 2017-18. And she's won the prestigious Arvon International Prize and the Fish Poetry Prize, along with other awards. She holds an MPhil in creative writing in poetry from Trinity College. Dublin. Please sit back and listen to G. Toll Road. Just walk. Start. It's easy. Put one foot in front of the other. Now do it again and again down the dusty road. The blacktop, concrete asphalt, bitumen, macadam, unmetalled, gravel. Start now. Make your choice early before the sun's dazzle blinds you, or the fork foxes you, or indecision cripples you. Just do it. Place the coin deep in your pocket, ready to pay the collector at the turnpike. Rest a while in a lay-by if you must, but don't be distracted by sores and blisters, by billboards, noisy traffic or distant hills. Cross the bridges as you come to them. And don't be swayed by the river foaming beneath your feet. Still follow the loops and curves and turns. Keep going. Hike into the sunset. Train your eyes on the cirrus clouds streaking the sky, orange and pink. Pay the toll. Don't flag. Walk always towards peace. And the winner of the adult published category of the Poetry Ireland Troke or a Poetry Competition for 2021 is Attractor Fahey from Corandulla in County Galway. Attractor Fahey's background is in nursing and social care. She lives in Galway and works as a psychotherapist and is a mother to three children. She completed an MA in writing in NUIG in 2017 and she was the October winner in the Irish Times New Irish Writing in 2019. She was nominated for the Pushcart Prize in 2018, shortlisted for the Allingham Poetry Prize in both 2019 and 2020. Her work is featured in a number of anthologies, including Heron Clan, Impspired, The Blue Nib, Avalanche, Of Mouth, Northern Women's Writings, Poetry and Settled Status for All, and has been published in the Poetry Ireland Review, Banshee, The Stinging Fly, Orbis, Poet Head, Cronog, Honest Ultiman, Abridged, Rare Swan Press, and Barbua. Fly on the Wall Poetry published her debut chapbook collection, 
Dinner in the Fields in March 2020. Please welcome Attractor Fahi. As we were leaving, As we were leaving, I saw the sun for a while before it slipped into the dark shades of the earth. Light dazzling through branch and tree, leaves flickering, blinding my eyes as we walked forward, listening to bird chatter, intimations, different warning calls for different predators how to wait for a gap in the cloud, highway to a home imagined from an inner horizon, a land where we could begin again. We knew this could mean death, but life had taught us bonds are temporary and everything goes down into the earth. Every healing haunted by the scar of the wound. Every seven years we shed our skin, wearing the invisible pain of loss, fear, how we navigate onwards, facing our grief we were committing to live, our bond to life reinforced. As we were moving, Bees were feeding on white blossom, streaming a blackthorn branch. The scent of our bloodline dried in the soil, where a flurry of cow parsley lined the hedgerows. We prayed to Angelica, channeling whatever God was willing to guide us. Is it impossible to leave without love? Must the heart always be cut out? Even in knowledge, we may become extinct. We persevered, raw and vulnerable. We looked to the fields, acres of green and the garden I was leaving behind. Dandelion clocks blowing into my face, telling me this is our time. As we arrived, I didn't look back. The solar face of mother rising, scattering the stars and the dark night as she beckoned us on. And I thought of Sappho, how I had seen her in daisies long before I ever read her poetry. Well, thank you, everyone. I'd now like to introduce our director, Neve O'Donnell. But before I do, I'd just like to thank all of you again for participating in the Troker of Poetry Ireland Poetry Competition again this year. As I say always, without you, there would be no poetry competition. And it's more than a competition, because as we've seen from the poems we've just heard, it means and it encapsulates and it points to some wonderful work being done and some wonderful depth in terms of how we understand our role as global citizens and how we're all interconnected. So before I finish, I want to thank Joanne McGarry of Trocra for all her work, including her adjudication, and the Trocra, all the people at Trocra, including the comms team and CEO Quiva de Barra. I want to thank Myra Cardiff and Lisa Jewell, my Poetry Ireland colleagues, for all their work, and our director, Neve O'Donnell. I particularly want to thank our adjudicators, Aidan Clifford of the Curriculum Development Unit, former director of the Curriculum Development Unit, and Catherine Ann Cullen, our poet in residence. And particularly thrilled this year to have Sinead O'Reilly, a former winner, working with us on the competition as our online remote intern for the, for the programme. And we're very thankful to Sinead for all her work under difficult circumstances this year. And again, to thank you all very much. So thank you and goodbye again until next year. And now I'll hand you over to our director, Neve O'Donnell, for a final word. Hello, I'm Neve, Director of Poetry Ireland. I want to start by thanking a couple of people for making this year's competition so rewarding. Firstly, thanks to Quiva de Barra, CEO of Trocra, and also Joanne McGarry and the entire Trocra comms team. I also want to thank my Poetry Ireland colleagues, Jane O'Hanlon, Maura Cardiff and Lisa Jewell, 
for all of their time and commitment. This year, we also had some support from a previous winner, so thanks also to Sinead O'Reilly. Poetry Ireland and Trogra know poetry offers pleasure, entertainment, intellectual stimulation, but importantly, it can also offer solace and operate as a salve. We truly believe, and what our winners show us, is how poetry touches on the values that bind society. Poetry is key to how we elaborate our identity, and it can play a major role in how we understand the world, how we find meaning, and how we build empathy. So we want to congratulate all of our winners, but we also want to thank absolutely everyone who participated and took part. Your contributions are so valuable and we greatly appreciate them. Thank you.